Natasha, the no, Natasha, Natasha. Greetings friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany if you've never been here before and today is going to be my first video in the March Project Pan series. I know that when you are watching this we're way past the first of March and maybe I should have gotten this video up earlier but even though I was behind on actually uploading a video I have not been behind on using our March palette that we chose which the palette that we chose was chosen on Instagram on a poll by you so if you don't follow me on Instagram you should do that it is Bratterstein just like my namesake here and the palette you guys chose for March is the Natasha Denona Safari palette I put up a poll for you to choose between this palette here and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien palette and this one by some percentages and I'm actually really glad because though I was really excited to get some more use out of this this is my newest palette and the color story is just so delicious that I was really really excited to use it with you and I don't know if you'll be able to tell but there are some dips in quite a few of the shades and I just started using it this month and I've been using it every day unless I'm filming a video where I am using and testing another new product that is but uh, on the day-to-day -day, I keep this on my desk at work and this is what I've been using every day for my work day and I've been loving it so today's video is gonna be my very first video using that palette on camera for you and I'm really excited to do it I'll probably give you a couple swatches maybe not on this arm because this is new and that's all scabby but we'll, we'll do swatches we'll do the review first impressions let you know what I think since I haven't used it on camera yet and that's what today's gonna be so I think it's time that we stop talking about it and start being about it and get into this palette. Do you want to do that? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Right now. If you would like to see me create a look with the March Project Pan Palette, which is the Natasha Denona Safari Palette, just keep on watching. Okay, so you may notice I have no eyebrows on, and that's because I actually, for the first time in 100 years, have a new brow product to use with you guys on the camera. Actually, a few new brow products. Let me show you. I received an influencer box and I am so excited to be showing this to you today. If you don't know what an influencer is, it's like it's an app on your phone where you can review products and I don't know how they choose who they actually send boxes to because let's be honest, I don't feel like I review quite that much, but they send you sometimes some emails where you can take like a survey and if you fit their qualifications, they send you free products. It's not sponsored, you don't get anything for it. You're not obligated to give a positive review. Um, you're not even obligated to do it in a YouTube video. You can just do it on a, um, an Instagram post. But I was like, you know what? I'm excited because it's actually from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to see if I like the stuff and uh, show that to you today. So let's do that. Just know, again, not sponsored, nothing like that. I just was really excited because I've never gotten a box that I was stoked on like I'm stoked on this one. So let's do it. It's kind of like a little unboxing, you guys. It's all Anastasia stuff. So let me show you what I got. Okay. I got some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow stencils. That's really interesting. I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder duo, and this is in the shade medium brown. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills dual ended angled brush in the number 7B, and I got the clear brow gel. I'm really excited to try these today because you may not believe this, and please don't revoke my YouTube channel um, capabilities but I've never used Anastasia brow products ever so when I started my channel and I got into doing brows and stuff I was pretty broke and Anastasia brow stuff just was not in my budget I had one palette which was Anastasia and it was modern renaissance and I had the wet and wild brow duo and I use that constantly and the brow stuff I use now I got from boxycharm so it was essentially free so I've never reached out and tried this stuff so I'm really excited to see if it's you know worth the hype people seem to love it so let's do it and I'm really really stoked that they sent me powder and not the dip the what is it pomade because I'm not like a pomade girl I'm definitely like a pencil and then a powder and then a gel girl so this fits exactly into what I normally do for my brows so let's go ahead and throw them on real quick something I think could be kind of fun is to do one brow with the uh, the stencil and then do the other brow as my brow to see how they differ so I think since this is my difficult brow, we'll do this with the stencil and then we'll do this like the normal way. But I am gonna like speed through this because I also really wanna get into the palette and the tutorial. So let me just do this real quick. Which one is my eye shape? That is a, that is such a big brow. Whoa, okay, that doesn't fit at all. That is a little better, we'll put that there. Not quite as good, no. Okay, so I've tested them against my brows, and I feel like the closest one to me, surprisingly enough, is the High Arch Stencil, which is interesting because I didn't feel like there was that much of an arch in my brow, but I guess there is, so let's go ahead and 
try this out. There are no instructions on the box, so we are just gonna do the best we can. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory though, right? You just uh, put the stencil up and then fill it in with brow product, right? I'm gonna go in first with the pencil, which this is, again, the brow definer, and this is in the shade medium brown. Oh, I, you know, I have, have I used this? This looks familiar. I feel like maybe I've used this before. I think I lied to you guys in the beginning. I think I've used this. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's uh, let's try this stencil out. This is the little triangle duad do hinky. Okay, how am I gonna? Okay, wait a second. I need to grab this mirror back here. I'm gonna put on this stencil. I'm just gonna fill in and hope for the best. Oh, I don't like it already. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, this is maybe not for me. I feel like there's gonna be someone in the comments that's like, that's not how you do it, you idiot, no wonder it looks bad. Um, please don't. I'm trying my best. No. Um, that's gonna be a no from me, dog. Um, so let me try to fix that. So the stencils aren't really going to be for me. Um, not so much. If you're curious about trying them yourself, go ahead and comment your Instagram handle down below and I'll choose somebody at random and then send them in the mail to them because these are not for me. But if you want to try them out, I'd be happy to send them over to you. So just go ahead and drop your Instagram down below and uh, I'll choose somebody at random and whoever wins, I'll message. Random giveaway on something random. Random is the right word here, so let me go ahead and pop like some normal brows on real quick. The shape of this pencil is super interesting. That like triangle shape, I'm used to like a tiny little point, so this is different for me, but I, I, I don't mind it. And the formula of the actual brow pencil is pretty good. It's not too stiff and waxy but it's definitely not creamy which I don't personally like for my brows like I don't like a creamy brow product the color seems to be a really good match so far so good this works really well on the front of my brows because I tend to do a line and then just like push up like this and then on the rest I'm using kind of like the side and drawing in the hair so so far so good this brow is obviously better than the other one because the other one I did that stencil which not a fan, but maybe you guys will be. Again, comment down below if you want to try to win it. Well, all the ones except for the one I use. I'm obviously not going to send you guys the one I use because that's gross, but anyways, let's move on to the powder. Okay, so here's the powder duo. I'm really excited to try this actually because Samantha Ravendahl raves about this. This was in her latest video where she talked about products that she's loved for five plus years, and that looks like a really good mixture of tones that are really, really neutral for my brows, which I'm stoked with, stoked with, stoked on, and I'm stoked to try this brush as well because I am very particular with my brow brushes. Wow, it's like I have a mouthful of spit. I'm very particular with my brow brushes. The one that I enjoy the most is my e.l.f. brow brush. I almost exclusively use that one, but I've heard that this is a good one. Hopefully it's the right shape for me on the tips, and I'm ready to put it on and try it out. So that is the shape right there. It's very thin, a little spooly. Let's do it. So I'm gonna dip into both the light and the dark shades. Ooh. And um, flick that through my brows together with you. That is a perfect color. Oh, hell yeah. This is, this came at such good, uh, this came at such good timing. I don't know what that was. Um, this came at a really good time because I'm now starting to make some major dents in my brow gal, um, brow powder. And this is a really nice brow powder. And I would have never tried it because of the price tag. So thank you, Influencer, for sending this to me to try faux free. With no obligation to review it positively. But this I like. This I'm a fan of. It works really well over that pencil. The brush is really nice too, actually. Yeah, I'm a fan. I like it. It's a cute brow. Okay, so now we have both brows filled in with powder and pencil, and I'm a big fan. I'm going to keep this in my 
work makeup bag because I feel like I'm gonna use that kind of often because it's like a really good tone for me and it worked really nicely. I like the combo, so now let's try it, the gel. Which I'm really glad they chose to send a clear gel because I find that I often go in that direction. Um, I do have my Milk Makeup Brow Gel, which I do use, but I find on the day-to-day, -day, I usually opt for a clear brow gel. Ooh, and this is a fancy packaging. Look at this packaging. Ooh, Ooh that is a big-ass brush. Okay, let's put that in my brows. That's such a big brush. That's crazy. Just seems like a big brush for like what it's for you know what I mean whatever okay and that's that I mean it's a clear brow gel I like it fine uh, I don't have a huge opinion on it because it's just clear but I do like it and I feel like I will use it the real test is how it like holds up throughout the day so I will you know use it more often and if you want ever an update if you want ever an update always check my Instagram because that's where I post about things on my story that I'm liking consistently all right, yeah, and that's everything I got in this Influencer box. I don't usually make videos with those boxes, but I was really, really excited to try these products, and even though I've gotten boxes in the past, I haven't made them into videos previously, but I just wanted to show you guys. I think it's pretty cool. Um, sign up for Influencer if you want, or don't. More, more free stuff for me to try. Just kidding. I want everybody be, to be able to get free stuff. It definitely helps if you have a YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel, definitely sign up, because, I mean, it's just getting free makeup for reviewing things, which if you like doing reviews, there you go. It's just like typed out reviews. Anyway, let's go ahead and put on the makeup. So I'm gonna tape my eyes to get a nice wing shape as you know that I like. Okay, so now that we're all taped up, let's go ahead and look at this palette together. This color story is out of this world to me. I've been wanting this palette since it was released because I thought that it was the most beautiful palette I had seen since subculture as far as story, uh, color story, and I've heard nothing but good things about Natasha Denona's shadows, so I was hoping that the formula would be like, what up, what up, what up, you know? So let's create a look with this. I think I'm gonna stick into like the purpley pink tones just cause that's what I'm vibing with and it'll match my shirt nicely. And uh, let's just create a look, shall we? Yes. Okay, I'm first gonna go in with the shade Amara right here. I'm gonna pop this in the crease here. Okay, now that I have that shade built up, I'm actually gonna take the shade Lotus right here. And this shade has actually been like the absolute biggest surprise from this palette for me as far as shades that I love. It might be my favorite shade in this entire palette. It's just so pretty. It's a very soft and sweet pink. And something about it, it just does something to me. I've been uh, using this as a blush actually. I will use it on my eyes and then just to make it like monochromatic I'll take my blush brush and smoosh it in that little pan and then put it on my cheeks and it makes the prettiest pink blush so if you haven't tried it and you have this palette I suggest you do it is beautiful and it works really well to blend out that shade as you see okay now that we have that blended out I'm actually gonna take the brush I was just using and flip it over and use this little one here and dip into the shade here which is Maasai Correct me if that's not pronounced that way, but to me it's Maasai. And I'm gonna be working that lower into the crease and deepening it up. Hey, Bows. Don't jump on my desk. Okay, so now that we have that laid down, we're going to blend her out. Do I want to use this brush or do I want to use the other brush? I'll use this brush. And I'm going to dip back into Amara lightly and just sort of... We don't want to blend it out too much because we want to keep that deep, deep color. Just like that. Okay, so now that we have that blended out, what do we want to do, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? By the way, I know I didn't show this to you guys yet, but I tattooed my ear and my sideburn. Mama tried. Y'all come give me a kiss? Because I feel like you want to give me a kiss. Yeah. Okay, now that it's all blended out, let's deepen it up with the shade Voodoo. I know I'm going to put that on the lower lash line going into the wing, maybe into the... So let's kind of just see how it goes. My landlord just saw me doing this. I saw her down there, look up into my window, and I'm just like, 
I'm gonna take like a little angled brush and dip into Voodoo. If you're ever curious about other looks that I do during Project Pan, you should definitely follow me on Instagram because I do use this palette every day for work and I usually post a uh, boomerang of my makeup of the day on my stories, almost every day actually, so that you can see what I've been doing with this palette. Okay, now I need to do a lid shade. I'm trying to figure out what to do because I am, if you are not aware, this entire palette is matte, which is one of the appeals of it for me because matte eyeshadows are my favorite eyeshadows, like shimmers and glitters and all of that is cool. Like I like glitter much more than I like shimmer or metallic. Um, and I like matte because matte, glitter, shimmer, metallic for me. Um, so I think, I think I'm gonna put Lotus on the lid, which was the uh, the beautiful color that I like to use on my cheeks as blush. And I'm just gonna pack that on the lid. Okay, so now that we have the lid shade down, I wanna take a little more of that Voodoo and do like a liner across the top all the way and connect it to the wing. And then we will go to the lower lash line. This video might be longer than I expected because I feel like I've taken a really long time doing this and I'm so sorry. Hopefully you like long videos, and if not, I'm sorry, and if you're still here, you're a real one, and if you're still here, how about you post a, well, some people don't have emojis, so post the word brat. That's going to be our code to show that you're a real one. And I uh, love you. Okay, let's go ahead and pull off the tape, do a little peel porn, add a lower lash line, and, uh, and uh, give you some swatches. Cool. That is the most satisfying shit in the world to me. I just, I could watch peel videos all day. Okay, let's do the other side, okay. Like, is there anything better? The answer is no. Not for me, there isn't. So fucking good, I love it so much. Oh. I love this color combo, I love this makeup, I love everything about it, I love this Sida. So for the lower lash line, I'm actually gonna take Masai, and I'm gonna smoke it out down there big time, because I love the tone of that shade. It's dark, but it's like really warmish, pinky purple that'll look really pretty if it's smoked, and maybe it won't look as deep if I'm like really, you know, blending it, we'll see. Start in the center, and just so pigmenty. Like see, when it's smoked out, it doesn't look quite as dark and it works really well. Okay, and for the outer corners, we're gonna take Voodoo on this itty bitty brush and kinda... Okay, and for like a little warmth down there, I'm gonna take some of that Amara shade and just kinda do it under the entire thing to just warm it up like the upper crease here. Ooh. And just a quick little... Oh yeah, that... Did I even show you? That totally ties the whole thing together. Yes. Okay, now for an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna show you another shade that's probably, I like this palette a lot. <laughs> like a lot, a lot. It's probably, I think it's my favorite palette that I own. And I know that that's a bold statement considering I just got it and we just started using it this month, but I think it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. It's like the color story, the fact that it's all matte, the Natasha Nona formula. It's just, I really, really like using it. And I haven't been this stoked in a really long time. And I feel like if my house was on fire and I had gotten my husband and all my animals out and I could only grab one palette, I think I'd grab that palette. I think I would. I think I'd just be like, well, I guess I'm gonna use my face highlight for um, shimmer for the rest of my life because I'm only grabbing the Safari palette. And that's kind of how I feel. And I guess that's a spoiler on my final thoughts, but uh, anyway, my other favorite shade that was a total sleeper on me is the shade, shade here, it's called Malia. In the pan, as you can see, it doesn't look like much. It's like a um, rosy-ish toned, here it is here. It's like a rosy toned pink based 
beige shade and something about it on the inner corner it it really on my skin tone brightens it up in a way that I can't even it reminds me of the shade wait it reminds me a little bit of the shade tempura in the um modern renaissance palette and that it just does something really magical on the inner corner that I can't explain so so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the inner corner and hopefully you can see the magic with this lighting I don't know if you'll be able to but for me it just every time I do my makeup I put this on the inner corner and I just think it's magic I feel like Lotus and Malia are gonna be the two shades that I hit pan on first look at it do you see that I don't know I don't know I don't know it's just so good do you see those inner corners do you actually see it I hope you can because I think it's perfect anyway let me go ahead and throw on some mascara and a lip and then I will give you some swatches and we will finish up my very first video in the March Project, Project Pad Series. Good as usual. One second. Okay, guys. So this is the completed look with mascara and lips using the Natasha Denona Safari palette. Okay guys, so now that you've seen the completed look, let's go ahead and do some swatches, and then I don't really know if we need to do final thoughts, because you already know I love it, but I'll just tell you again that I love it, and then uh, say goodbye. So let me show you some swatches real quick. Where can I put them? Okay, so there's probably going to be two rows, because I can't get near this because it's new, but uh, anyway, let's go. We have Malia. We have Fota Majata. Forgive me if I butcher any of these. None of these words are are normal for me. Except for this really easy word called rhino. Um, this also easy word stone. This also easy word savannah. And honestly, that's like a stunning top row, and I have used those colors together several times since getting this palette because I love it. They're really nice, cool tones. Now to the more neutral row. Well, wearable everyday row. We have Aya Thorn Desert Date. And these last two. We have Shay and Tribe. And now for this bottom pinky row, which has been my most used row. We have Lotus, my favorite, Amara, Masai, and the last two, this is the one that I use every day. We have Voodoo and Tamarind, and Tamarind is my everyday shade. Like, I just want to throw something in the crease, I'll throw in a quick uh, Tamarind here and an Aya, and then throw uh, my adorable little, what is it, Malia in the inner corner, boom perfect everyday look. Now those are all the beautiful shades in the Natasha Denona Safari palette. Go ahead and take a screenshot if you would like. Okay, quick final thoughts, quick roundup because my phone is about to die. If you hadn't already noticed, based on my um, nothing but positive feedback, I love this palette. It is probably my favorite palette I've ever used and my favorite palette that I own. And I think you can quote me on that because I really, 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 really love it. Obviously there are other palettes that I also love, but I think this is the one that I love the most without any <sighs> emotional attachment or like nostalgia, anything like that. It's just a new palette that I think is just fantastic. At least it's new to me. I know it's been out a little while and the idea of new kind of depends on the person you ask. Um, but I really, really enjoy it and I, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this look. I think it's beautiful. This That row is my favorite row to use because I think pinks and purples look cute on me and I'm just really stoked to have used it. Let me know if you have this palette and what you think down below. If you haven't tried Lotus as a blush, I highly recommend it because it is stunning and I hope you enjoy March Project Pan. Of course, check my Instagram for photos of pan porn since that's like my thing right now. Um, and if you want to see how much damage we did in the Modern Renaissance palette, go ahead and, and check my page so you can see the before and after photos 
from that palette. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because those are the only two things that YouTube cares about. And thank you for being here when you can be anywhere in the world. It's dope that you choose to be here on this tiny little channel. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.